Hey guys, welcome back to the Science of CBD podcast. This is a bi-weekly podcast answering all of your questions about CBD, phytocannabinoids, the farm bill, the legalities of it, just about everything. So I'm your host, Suzanne Gatt, and once again, I'm joined with Professor Jean Bruno. Jean is a professor of nutraceutical sciences at Huntington University, and he is the formulator of all Twin Lab products. With each new episode, we hope to bring you value and transparency. If you learn something, we want to hear from you. Make sure to like, follow, share, subscribe, and comment after the video. And if you're still unclear about something, we want to hear from you. Let us know. Send us all your questions, and we'll be sure to answer them in an upcoming podcast. So, okay, Jean, today I want to talk all about dosing because this is a topic that I get so many questions about, and I think there's a lot of confusion out there, especially with the different um, types of product from tinctures to capsules to all sorts of stuff. So um, I get a lot of questions about dosing and I know um, from the people that are asking questions, that's what um, everyone wants to know about. What is the recommended dose and how do we as consumers um, really understand and read the various labels? Because they all sort of say different things. So Yes, they do. Help help me and everyone else understand when I'm looking for a CBD product, what what are the things around dosing that I should be looking for? So really there's two major things you should look for. One is you want to look for full spectrum phytocannabinoid. Okay. And the, and the second thing that you want to look for is you want to have a defined amount of phytocannabinoids or CBD per dose. You want to make sure the label says it, all right? So those are the two things. Now, just to go a little bit more in depth on the first item, full spectrum, in the last show we talked a little bit about this, but basically there are about a hundred or more phytocannabinoids. CBD is just Mm -hmm. one of those, okay? And um, while it's important, you really want the others present because in the literature, in the scientific literature, what we found out is that uh, one phytocannabinoid doesn't work by itself. The others work with it in a synergistic way. In the literature, this is referred to as the entourage effect, which means you're going to get a greater overall benefit to the body if you use them all together. That's not what you get with isolated CBD or CBD isolate. Okay, So that's what you want to look for. So when you have two bottles and one says full spectrum, one says CBD isolate, even though we hear so much about just CBD by itself, we mm-hmm. really want the full spectrum. You really want the full spectrum uh, it, because if you don't have it, you don't get the entourage effect. So it may say CBD isolate or it may even just say CBD and nothing else. If you don't have full spectrum on there, you're not necessarily getting full spectrum and you're not getting that full benefit. Look for full spectrum. Okay, got it. So then the other thing that you mentioned is, and this is um, where a lot of my questions come in too, the actual dose and how to understand um you know, what the label is telling you. Because some says, like you said, how much CBD per serving, and some will just say... Yes, this is a big issue. So on some products, it's very easy. Like if you take a vitamin C, um, and you you pick up a bottle of vitamin C, and you look on the supplement facts box, and it says, vitamin C, 1,000 milligrams. All right, that's pretty clear. 1,500, whatever it is, it's clear, it's defined. You know how much you're getting per serving. But what if the bottle said, orange juice powder, 1,000 milligrams. Well, how much vitamin C do you get in that? Who knows? Maybe you're getting two milligrams. Maybe you're getting five. Maybe you're getting 100. You don't know. And that's what happens here. If it just says you're getting a hemp extract or you're getting a hemp CBD extract and it gives you a milligram amount, that doesn't mean you're getting that defined amount of CBD. 1,000 milligrams of hemp stuff may contain, I don't know, three milligrams of CBD, five milligrams. You don't know. You need it to be defined. If the label doesn't say phytocannabinoids, 10 milligrams or or 25 milligrams or whatever, then... So anytime you see words like blend or um, extract, that's more than just the active amount of CBD or the active amount of cannabinoids. Yes, uh, generally speaking. But again, even if it says the blend and it says a total amount of the blend, you still have to look and see somewhere in there does it say the defined amount of full spectrum phytocannabinoids. Does it say 10 milligrams or 25 milligrams? You need to see that so you know what you're getting. Okay, so we need to see um, and really understand the label and the amount of cannabinoids that we're getting per serving um, or the amount of CBD that we're getting per serving. Um, So that said, is there a amount that we should be looking for? 
Yeah, sure. Um, you know, there's a lot of literature on phytocannabinoids, a lot of uh, research that's been done. And what I can tell you is there's a good body of research showing that about 25 milligrams of phytocannabinoids is very effective for different things, helping with stress, helping with sleep, uh, a, a, a broad variety of benefits. Um, and of course, there's research showing that higher doses have benefit. What I can tell you is I've seen no research indicating that lower doses have that benefit. So if you're getting five milligrams or 10 milligrams, I guess you could say it, it in general supports the endocannabinoid system. But if you're looking for something more than a general supports the system, you want some defined benefit that you're taking it for stress, sleep, whatever. Yeah. You want 25 so, milligrams of full spectrum phytocannabinoids. So going back to your vitamin C example, because I think that was really helpful. Um, you it doesn't make sense for anyone to really take three milligrams of vitamin C. You're, usually you'll see like 500 or 1,000 or something <laughs> like that's that. That's right. So. That's right. It's like saying, okay, I, I don't care about the amount of vitamin C. I just want some to support my body in general. So, you know, 10 milligrams is fine. Well, then, no, it's not fine. That's not even the daily value, let alone a, a, a dose it. that's going to have real value for your, your immune system. Got it. So um, when we see products that say something, for example, like 300 milligrams of hemp or 300 milligrams of a phytocannabinoid blend, we need to see exactly how much is in that per serving. Yeah, so I've seen I've seen that very thing. I've seen bottles where you pick it up and it says, oh, uh, it'll say on the front of the bottle, 300 milligrams of CBD. Wow, that's great. That's a tremendous amount. Well, be clear. That's the amount found in the entire bottle, mm -hmm. not the mm -hmm. amount per serving. So if you have 30 servings in a bottle, you know, that means you're getting 10 milligrams per serving. That makes sense. All right. So again, Buyer beware, caveat emptor, <laughs> make sure you look carefully, make sure you're looking at not just what it says on the front of the bottle, go to the supplement facts box. If it doesn't have a supplement facts box, don't buy it because you know, they're not following any regulations. Um, and make sure it gives you a defined amount of the uh, full spectrum phytocannabinoid complex per dose. Got it. All right, guys, you heard it here. When looking for phytocannabinoids and CBD products, you want to make sure that it's full spectrum as opposed to CBD isolate. And you also want to make sure that you really understand the label. And if you don't ask questions so that you can um, really understand the amount of CBD or the active phytocannabinoids per serving. And it sounds like you really want to, if you're looking for a therapeutic effect, you want to look for something that has um, at least 25 milligrams of. Yeah. Of 25 milligrams, full spectrum phytocannabinoids. That's the sweet spot. Go for that. Cool. All right, well, that answers my questions. Um, if you guys have any more questions around dosing, how to read a label, um, you know, different levels of CBD that you should be looking for, please ask us. Um, reach out to us. And, Gene, thank you so much again for joining us. Please my pleasure. Make sure to like, comment, um, and share the podcast. And we look, see, we look forward to seeing you guys again next week. Go to TwinLabCBD.com.